In this video, I'm going to show you how to use one formula to automatically import live data from the web in Google Sheets. So as an example, on this sheet here, I have all of the NFL Combine data from 2021, and that is being taken from profootballreference.com, and using one formula, we can automatically get all of that data inputted into our spreadsheet. This is gonna be really powerful if you store your data online, or if you wanna look at stocks or any other data that is publicly available online. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and we are starting off with a blank sheet. Now, in order to get this to work, what you need to have is a website that you can automatically pull your data from. And the website has to be accessible through Google Sheets and really any publicly available website will fit that criteria. So. In order to do this, what we're gonna do is use a formula called import HTML. And what you'll see is, if I go up into my formula box here and I type in equals import HTML, open that up, what it's going to ask me for is a few different things. The first of which being the URL of the data that I actually want to look at. The second being the query that I actually wanna make, whether that is a table or a list. And in general, when we want to be importing um, data with many, many um, headers along the top, we're going to be working in tables. If we wanted something that's just vertical and all going to stay in one column, that is going to likely be a list. And then the third thing it wants is which table on the sheet that we actually want to import. And this only comes into play if there's more than one table on the sheet that you're working with. But, um, you can just easily change the number here to see if the table that you're importing has the data that you want. So let's give this formula a try here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the football reference website and what I can go to here is share and export and I can easily just copy the URL from the web browser, but because of the way I have my camera set up here, you can't actually see the web browser. So I'll just go to copy link to table clipboard. And what that's going to do is actually give me the link. So I can right click and copy link address and I'll go back to my actual data. I'm just gonna start in A1 and I'm going to type equals import HTML, open that up and, what? I think I just spelt it wrong. Nope, should be okay. And you can see what it wants is the actual um, URL, but it wants it in quotations. So what I'm gonna do is type quotations and then paste that URL from the data. And I'll add one more quotation and then comma. And as we said, the next thing it wants is whether it's a table or a list. And because we have lots of headers along the top, we're going to assume that it's a table. I'm gonna type quotation table, quotation, and then comma. And there was only one table on this particular sheet. So I'm going to type table one and close this off. And when I hit enter, it's gonna go through loading. And what you'll see is all of that data from the website has actually been taken. And I can scroll all the way through here. And if I was go back to NFL combine results, I'll just close this and scroll all the way down. That is all of the data that we've taken. And just as we, so that we look at it, the last one is Landon Young, O-Tackle from Kentucky. And if we were to go all the way down, we have Landon Young, O-Tackle from Kentucky, and there is his scores. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is this data is live so that if, if it were to update on the website, it would also update on the sheet. And the second thing is if you're noticing, as we scroll through here, um, because of the way that this website's set up, you can see that it has the headers here along the top, but in our actual data, there are certain times when it has the headers sort of throughout the data. So if we were working with this data, we'd wanna remove those. So I'm just gonna show you a quick way to clean those up. So what we can do is we can use a function called unique. And what unique's gonna do when we apply it to this whole data set is it's gonna look by row, and if the whole row is unique, um, then it's going to keep it. But in the case where a whole row would be 
um, repeated, then it's going to remove that from our actual data set. So if I just go back up here and type in um, unique in front of this, and then at the end, it's going to ask me for a comma and I'll close off the actual brackets. And when I hit, um, let's scroll down here so you can see where is one of those. When I hit enter, all of those are going to disappear because um, we're only going to keep the first one, which is the first unique one. Every other time that it showed those headers, they all matched. Um, so the unique function removed them. Now, the last thing that you might want to do is you might actually want to sort this data by either school or athlete or what have you. So what I can do in that case is I could go to the front of this and I could wrap this in a sort function. So I could say sort open that up and what it's going to ask for is the range and this whole unique function is the range and then comma, what column do I wanna sort it by? Let's say school, which would be column one, two, three. So I could type in three and then it's gonna ask me for ascending or descending. So I'm just going to leave that blank and when I hit enter, what you can see is now it's sorted that by school. Now what it will do there is you can see that it takes the, um, the titles and puts them somewhere in the middle. And in another video, I'll show you an easy way to kind of get around that as well. But that's just how you could start to use the sort function. So the, the takeaways here are using the import HTML function, we can easily get some data from the web into our spreadsheets. And then just like any other data set in Google Sheets, we can start to wrap this in different functions within Google Sheets to clean this data up and make it a little bit more usable for any of the um, functions or calculations that we want to do off of it. So I hope this video helped you out. It was a little bit of a quicker video, but I just wanted to pop on and show you guys how you can start to import some web data into your spreadsheet. So I will see you in the next video and thanks for watching.